Hello students, I am Isha Mandirata. In today's video, I am going to discuss numericals of magnetic materials. So we will be discussing numericals related to the chapter wherein we will be using the formulae which are related to the basic terms of magnetism like we will be using the relation between magnetic induction, uh, magnetic field and magnetization that D is equals to mu0 m plus h. We will be using the relation of magnetic susceptibility and relative permeability that is chi m is mu r minus 1. We will be using the equation uh, like you have the equation of chi m is equals to m by h or we have permeability mu is equals to v by h or you can write d is equals to mu 0 mu r h. So such equations we will be using in this video. Let's start with the first numerical. So the first numerical says that a paramagnetic material has a magnetic field intensity of 10 raised to 4 ampere per meter. If the susceptibility of the material at room temperature is 3.7 into 10 raised to minus 3, you have to find out magnetization, that is capital M, and you have to find out flux density of the material. Now, paramagnetic material is a material which has permanent dipoles, but the net dipole moment in the absence of electric field is zero. This was just an idea about paramagnetic material. So you are given the value of magnetic field intensity, that is H. You also are given in the question the value of chi m, that is susceptibility. So it's very easy to find out the equation or the value of m because we know the relation chi m is m by h. So let's just start. So here we have the value of h given as 10 raised to 4 ampere per meter. We have been given the value of chi m as 3.7 into 10 raised to minus 3. Chi m is a nucleus quantity. We know that chi m is equals to m by h. So this gives us m is equals to h into chi m. So h means 10 raised to 4. 3.7 into 10 raised to minus 3. This gives us the value of m as 37 ampere per meter. Now you have determined the value of magnetization. Now what is flux density? That is B. Now we know the relation B is equals to mu0 into m plus h. What is mu0? It is absolute permeability having a value 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. So I just substitute value of 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 into bracket m that is 37 plus 10 raised to 4. So solving this we have b as 0.0126 unit of b is Weber per meter square. Clear? Let's move on to the next numerical which says that magnetic field strength of 2 into 10 raised to 5 ampere per meter is applied to a paramagnetic material with a relative permeability of 1.01. So relative permeability that is mu r is given and h is given. You have to find out the equations of values of b and m that is flux density and magnetization. Right? So let's start. So we'll start with B is equals to mu h. This is the equation we know. It's according to the definition of permeability, mu is B by h. But I can write mu as mu naught mu r h. Why? Because I have been given the value of relative permeability and the value of absolute permeability we already know. So I just substitute the value. So this is 4 into 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 7. 1.01, 2 into 10 raised to 5. So this gives the answer of B as 0.2537 Weber per meter square. Easy? Now let's find out M. So M can be derived by B is equals to mu0 into M plus H. Mu0 M is equals to B minus mu0 H. Or I can write m is equals to b upon mu0 minus h. Clear? This is one way. Or I can also use the equation chi m is equals to mu r minus 1 
So m by h is mu r minus 1 or I can write m is equals to h into mu r minus 1. What is h given? 2 into 10 raised to 5. This is 1.01 minus 1. So this gives the answer of m as 2000 ampere per meter. So there are two formulae. You can use any one of them, whichever you remember well. Let's discuss the third numerical, which says magnetic field strength of copper is 10 raised to 6 ampere per meter. So H is given. Magnetic susceptibility of copper is 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 5. So chi m is given. You have to find flux density and magnetization. So starting with magnetization, I can use chi m is equals to m by h or I can write m is equals to chi m h. So chi m is given as 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 5 into 10 raised to 6. So this gives me the answer 8 ampere per meter. This is the equation of magnetization m. Let me just write here magnetization. Now I have the equation of magnetization m. So now I have to derive the value of b. You can use the equation b is equals to mu 0 into m plus h. So this is 4 into 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 7. m is 8 plus 10 raised to 6. This gives the answer of b as 1.256 Weber per meter squared. Clear? Now let's move on to one more numerical. So the question says, a magnetic field of 1800 ampere per meter produces a magnetic flux of 3 into 10 raised to minus 5 Weber in an iron bar having a cross-sectional area 0.2 centimeter square. You have to find out its permeability mu. So to find out mu, we would require B, that is flux density, that is not given in the question. But in the question, you have been given the value of 5. You are also given the value of A. So we know the equation B is equals to flux per unit area. So this is nothing but the definition of flux density. So I'll just substitute 3 into 10 raised to minus 5 upon. I have 0 0.2. 2 centimeter square. So this is 0 0.2 into 10 raised to minus 6. Do not forget to convert the units because if you write only 0 0.2 your answer would be incorrect. You have to convert cm square into meter square. So this gives the answer as 1.5 Weber per meter square. So now I have the value of B and I know that mu is equals to B by H. So this is equals to 1.5 divided by 1800. What is the answer? The answer is mu is equals to 8.33 into 10 raised to minus 4 and the unit is Henry per meter. So only with the help of definition of magnetic flux density, we determine the value of magnetic flux density as phi by A. Using the formula phi by A, we derive B and then using the value of B and the equation of permeability, we have found mu. Let's move on to one more type of numerical, which says a magnetic material has a magnetization of 2300 ampere per meter and flux density of 0.00314 Weber per meter square. You have to calculate the magnetizing field and relative permeability of the material. So you are given in the question the value of capital M that is magnetization. You are also given B. You have to find H and you have to find out mu R. Let's start. So first we'll be using this. B is equals to mu 0 into M plus H. I can write B minus mu 0 M is equals to mu 0 H. Or I can write H is equals to b upon mu 0 minus m. So b is given in the question that is 0 0.00314. This is equals to 4 into 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 7. 
So this is the value of V upon mu zero minus you are given twenty three hundred. So let's see what is H. H will come approximately two hundred ampere per meter because solving this equation you get around twenty five hundred as the answer. So now I have the value of H. How do I find mu r? You can simply write mu r minus one is equals to chi m, or I can write mu r. What is chi m? M by H plus one. So m is twenty three hundred divided by two hundred plus one. So value of mu r is twelve point. Five. Let's see one more type of numerical wherein silicon material is subjected to a magnetic field of 1000 ampere per meter. Magnetic susceptibility is minus 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 5. You have to find out its magnetization and flux density. Why is minus given in the value of susceptibility of this numerical? Because it is silicon. Silicon is a diamagnetic material. Diamagnetic materials are materials which will always magnetize in a direction opposite to magnetic field because they are the magnets which will always repel the magnetic field. So that is the reason negative sign is given here. It only indicates that the material is a diamagnetic material and they have susceptibility is minus one or always negative susceptibility. So let's just start the equation. Uh, start solving the question. You have to find out magnetization. So we know that chi m is equals to m by h. So this implies that m is equals to chi m into h. So that is equals to minus 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 5 multiplied by 1000. So this gives us the answer of m as minus 3. Into 10 raised to minus 3 ampere per meter. Minus sign is because the material is diamagnetic. To find out flux density, we will use V is equals to mu zero m plus h. So that is 4 into 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 7. H is 1000 minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 because we have magnetization as negative. So this answer of B as 1.255 into 10 raised to minus 3 wave per meter square. So this was the numerical. You just have to remember the types of magnetic materials also while solving because if you do not know that diamagnetic materials have a negative value of susceptibility, you might get confused once you get the answer. clear so today we have discussed different types of numerical wherein we have used the relation between magnetic susceptibility and relative permeability we have used the relation between b m and h so i just hope that you have understood all the numericals i discussed today very well thank you